I was just head between his legs, completely asleep. Driving westbound on the pike along this Tesla. It seemed like he had his cruise control on around like 55, 60 miles an hour. Dakota Randall sat stunned, then pulled out his phone and hit record. He tried to wake up the driver. I tried knocking or honking a little bit and it didn't work at all. And the passenger. What I assume was his wife uh, had her head against the, the window also asleep. But neither worked as he watched their car cruise down the pike around three o'clock Sunday afternoon. Scarier than seeing an inattentive driver, Dakota says, is the uncertainty of how it unfolded. We don't know how this ended. No, no. I mean, I was with him for about 45 seconds to a minute or so. And then I just, you know, I sped up and left him behind. Leaving them behind and taking with him a new perspective on how he'll drive around self-driving cars. I'm never going to look at one the same. You know, I'm always going to look to see if somebody's asleep. Malcolm Johnson, NBC10 Boston.